the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are on a four-day tour of Sweden and Norway, where they'll be visiting landmarks, mingling with locals and spending time with the respective royal families of each country. Kate, who is around six months pregnant with her third child, has been wowing us with maternity outfits old and new over the past few months. As usual, Kate likes to display sartorial diplomacy, whether that be through her choice in colors or designers, so expect her to add some Scandinavian wares to her wardrobe. And of course, she'll fly the flag for British fashion and her stylist Natasha Archer is likely to have packed pieces from favorites such as Catherine Walker, Erdem and Alexander McQueen. Take a look at all of her outfits from the Royal Tour 2018. Outfit 3, Erdem Floral Dress for Black Tie Dinner at the residence of the British Ambassador in Stockholm Kate and William joined Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel Image, Reuters on Tuesday night Day 1 Kate and William joined the Swedish Royal Family for a Black Tie Dinner at the residence of the British Ambassador in Stockholm. Erdem's Stephanie Dress Kate wowed in a bold floral Erdem dress in mustard gold, a subtle tribute to one of Sweden's national colors, which appears to be a modified version of the brand's silk crepe de chine Stephanie gown, from the AW17 collection, and costs £1,945. Kate carried a burgundy clutch and Diana's pearl bracelet image, Getty she teamed it with a burgundy suede clutch. Kate's hair was styled into a low chignon image, Getty her chic updo showed that she was wearing Princess Diana's Collingwood pearl and diamond earrings and matching bracelet. Outfit 2, Catherine Walker dress and matching coat to attend lunch and walk about with Sweden's royal family a warm welcome image, PA there was time for a quick change after the bandy hockey game, for a lunch with Sweden's royal family, King Carl the 16th of Gustav, Queen Sylvia, Prince Daniel and Victoria, Crown Princess of Sweden. Kate chose a dress by favorite Catherine Walker image, Daily Mirror Kate wore a bespoke design by tour favorite Catherine Walker, which looked to be a modification of their funnel neck Bico dress. The Duchess teamed it with semi-sheer tights and her trusty Todd's suede block heel pumps. The Duchess wore faux fur cuffs and collar image, PA the Swedish royals accompanied the Duke and Duchess on a walk around Stockholm, where Kate decided to swap her heels for her Russell Bromley, Stuart Weitzman HALF and HALF knee-high boots. Pregnant Kate glowed, despite the chill image, PA she also covered up in a matching forest green coat, also by Catherine Walker, which was midi length and featured oversized buttons. Wandering to Stockholm image, PA she donned another piece of headwear, the black furry hat we saw her wearing for the church service at Sandringham on Christmas Day. She added an extra layer of warmth with a faux fur collar, 65 pounds, and matching cuffs, 40 pounds, by Troy London. Kate's Mulberry Handbag Image Getty We also saw the Duchess toting a new handbag, Mulberry S895 pounds mini seat in style, which has a signature writer's lock. Kate wore her Kiki McDonough earrings image, PA and finally, Kate completed her look with her her Kiki McDonough special edition drop earrings with green amethyst, green tourmaline and diamond gems, which are believed to have been made for Kate after Princess Charlotte's birth. She first debuted them on the Royal Tour of India and Bhutan in 2016. Kate and William brave Nordic temperatures for their first engagement of the Royal Tour and watched a bandy hockey game at Bisparken Public Park, in Stockholm. It's a chilly start to the day image, PA Kate wrapped up in Burberry's 2,495 pounds Taladine double-breasted coat with plush shearling and black jeans, likely to be one of her trusty Zara skinnies. She championed both British and Swedish fashions on day one, wearing a 139 pounds Ovik folk knit sweater by Feel Raven. Feel Raven sweater in order not to slip on the ice, Kate opted to wear waterproof Torino snow boots 120 pounds by Canadian label Sorrel and Suede Faux for trim thermal gloves, 21 pounds, from John Lewis. Kate's rubber-soled snow boots image, wire image the Duchess looked adorable in a 103 pounds Eugenia Kim Palm Palm hat, with her hair cascading around her shoulders in loose waves. Cozy Kate image, PA there was some controversy around this choice, as social media users believed she was wearing a version of the beanie, which contains fox fur. However Kensington Palace stressed that Kate was wearing the faux fur style. She finished off her look with a 89 pounds cashmere fine cable snood in Bordeaux from Brora, which matched Prince William's hat and her Asprey button earrings. Page 2 The pregnant Duchess of Cambridge stunned an Airdom dress for a black tie dinner with the Swedish royal family at the residence of the British ambassador in Stockholm on Tuesday night. It's a bold style choice for Kate, who is an avid fan of the London-based designer and has worn his distinctive dresses on numerous occasions. It is believed to be a version of the label Silk Crepe de Chine Stephanie gown, from the AW17 collection, and costs £1,945.
Kate also displayed her usual sartorial diplomacy. The gold mustard hue of her frock is a subtle tribute to both British fashion and Sweden's national colors, which are blue and gold. She also carried a burgundy clutch bag. Kate and William joined Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel Image. Reuters Erdem's Stephanie Dress Erdem also has fans among the other members of the royal family. Princess Eugenie wore one of his designs for her official engagement photos, while Prince Harry's fiance Meghan Markle was spotted in one of his pieces for a wedding last year. And Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden is no stranger to the brand, having worn several gowns and clothes from the Erdem XM collaboration. The Duchess wore her hair in loose curls for most of Tuesday's engagements, but it was restyled into a chic updo for the formal dinner, which showed she was wearing Princess Diana's Collingwood pearl and diamond earrings. It's been a packed first day for the Duke and Duchess as they kicked off the tour by watching a bandy hockey game. Then they joined the Swedish royals for lunch, followed by a walk around Stockholm. The couple finished off their afternoon with a visit to the Nobel Museum and attended an event celebrating Swedish design.